Hey guys, this is Hell Hades, free to play. Guys, I'm so excited to bring you this video today. We're going to be building out the Bunny Crusher. So basically, I've got Razelvarg, level 69 on. He's got Masteries. We've got Skull Crusher, six starred. We're getting his levels up right now. I've got his Masteries. We're going to be building a clan boss team, two for one on the free to play account. And I'm going to show you why I was I was pushing so damn hard to get Razelvarg. Because we're going to try and move from Nightmare Clan Boss up to Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. Let's do this. So just to answer some of the questions, because there will be silly comments down below like, Oh, that's because you get content creator packs. And no, on the free to play, I don't get any content creator perks. I just play the game free to play using the daily resources. Like, how have I managed to get two six stars? Got their masteries done since Friday and we're on like Tuesday morning. Well, a couple of things. All of my resources, every single thing, every gem I'm getting, all of my energy, it's all gone into doing this exact thing. That's the first thing. Um, I've also done some things which I'm not that proud of. For example, there is no longer a Jizo in my vault. There's no longer a bird out in my vault. Yet some of these champions that I 50 would I fed. Yeah, and I'm not that proud of doing it because on a free-to-play, that's not best practice. But I was so into getting these fellas up that I was like, you know what? We're just going to do it. I had a, a minor miracle this morning and clan reset with energy in the shop. So I bought up eight lots of energy this morning to grind masteries. And you'll also notice that on masteries, they're not fully complete. I got the tier six and then I moved on to the next guy. So there's a whole bunch of stuff I've done that I am proud of. Like we can push hard and fast, but also there's some stuff I've done that I'm not that proud of. For example, feeding champions that I probably should have kept for faction wars. You'll notice I've got no bruise. I've literally just been like hard forcing, leveling and stuff, using bruise that I shouldn't use, feeding all my two stars to, to level them up quicker. Like everything I'm doing it's probably against the free-to-play rules, but I'm so damn keen to get this to work. So I have managed to book my rabbit in the key skills. The A3 is booked. The A2 is booked. The A1. Would I like another couple of books in there? It would give me a bit more damage, but really it's not that important for me to do that. So we've not done that. Skull Crusher, I've made sure the A2 is booked. Uh, Skullcrusher is one of the most book efficient champions in the game. Even if you get unlucky, it's only five epic books for him to become a clan boss beast. Um, so yeah, so those two have been booked. And as I say, we've kind of picked up enough masteries to get the job done. So before we get into building these champions, I want to talk about the speed tune. And I want to talk about uh, how it works on Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare. So basically, we've got the same speed tune playing out here. For Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare. I need to have somebody. I've got Skull Crusher running at 250. I've got Razelvard running at 229. Whoever's going to be your other champions. We've got 247, 213, 180. It's one of the most tight speed tunes I've ever seen. For example, if Razelvard is one speed more, the speed tune fails. If he's one speed less, the speed tune fails. Yeah, you can see how. Uh, these all start to change up. I want to thank Short on Steels for building this for me because these speed tunes with Razelvarg with a counter-attack champion as well are extremely difficult to do. And he's come up trumps with this speed tune here. You can see Razelvarg's doing three turns for every time the clan boss has a turn. Everyone else is having two goes every time the clan boss has a go. This is massive for a free-to-play account. And what it's going to do compared to my current clan boss team, which uh, can I just show you this as it reset? Might have reset already. No, it hasn't. So resets in a minute. You can see against Nightmare, my current clan boss team basically has got speed champion, speed champion, leech champion. So I've got three champions doing two things. They're keeping me alive and they are enabling me to go fast enough to get two, uh, two hits in. For every time the clan boss has a go. Razelvarg replaces all three of those to do the same job. That's why I was so keen to pick him up. And you can see my previous team here was doing 20 million a key on Nightmare. 
So I was just every day just about getting a two key on Nightmare. And I'm hoping that Razelvarg pushes me to Ultra Nightmare. But just back to the speed tune quickly. As I say, all of these champions, it's literally like if I'm changing their speed even by one, it's ruining the speed tune. So if you're trying to copy this, you need to make sure that you are looking at the true speed on the link that I put down below. Like, for example, if I swapped out Stagnite for Warboy and kept him at the same speed at 247, the speed tune fails because Warboy's base speed is lower. Therefore, the true speed changes. So you absolutely, there's going to be so many comments below saying I can't get this to work. It's because you're not watching this part of the video. Your masteries have got to be right. And yeah, you, you absolutely have to get the true speeds right to make this work. The other thing that I need to call out here is that this will fail on Spirit Affinity because the decreased speed, I don't have a way in my team of stopping that from happening. If you had a champion that could do um, block debuffs on a more consistent basis, I've got Sepulchre in here, she does it all over the place. Uh, or you had someone like a Brogni or someone like that. Someone who's going to give you block debuffs for a good period of time, like two turns, you could fit that into this team. Or someone who's going to cleanse you at the top of each turn. You see Sepulchre is always at the top of the turn for me. So if that was someone like a Doom Priest, then I could cleanse away the decreased speed and it would work. So there's definitely ways that you could do it. But everyone who tries to copy this, you absolutely need to make sure you nail it bang on. Okay, we're going to work out some builds. Cool thing here with the Rabbit is not only is he creating the speed tune and giving us our healing, he's also giving us this little cheeky buff, increase accuracy. So we're actually going to have for every single hit anyone in my team does ever for the whole fight, as long as this works, we've got increased accuracy up, which means that we only need about 170 accuracy to enable us to deal with Ultra Nightmare, Clan Boss. It means we can bring those stats right down and do a good job. Eventually as well, Ronda will probably come out of this team and I will replace her with Nephril, which should push my damage up, but I didn't have enough resources to get another six star and masteries and all that sort of stuff done yet. But Ronda will still do a good job for me right now. So I've got a decreased attack champion in Sepulchre, decreased defense champion in Stagnite. Uh, we've got Razelvarg for healing, and we've got Skullcrusher for really survivability. Skullcrusher, you're probably like, ah, oh, counterattack, blah, blah, blah. Skullcrusher really is in there for ally protection. Counterattack is just a bonus. If I had Taradi the Frog, uh, Rearguard Sergeant, any of those other ally protectors, they will be equally as important as a Skullcrusher here. We'd have to tweak the speed tune a bit because we wouldn't be able to do the same one. This is a speed tune with Razelvarg and some form of counter-attacker to get it to work. So if you were using uh, Valk or you were using Marta in Skullcrusher's position, you'd lose your ally protection, but it would still work in terms of a speed tune. Anyway, let's get into the optimizer and start to build out our champions. So Razelvarg in the leader spot. Uh, Razelvarg absolutely cannot take a stun. And we'll get into that in a little while. I don't mind if Rondus takes a stun. I don't mind if Stagnite takes a stun. And I don't mind if Sepulchre does. When I actually line this up, Sepulchre will probably go in position two because she's going to be the tankiest of the lot. So she's kind of a good stun target. Uh, I don't, I can't afford for Skullcrusher to take a stun. So we've kind of got, um, we, we have to manage the stun in a, a pretty particular way. If you look here, before a stun lands, when we're in speed tune, which is from turn seven, Sepulchre will alternate between giving us an increased defense and block debuffs or not. That's the trouble with Sepulchre. Her ability is on a four turn cooldown, so it becomes difficult to manage. But if you see on the second time round, nobody's got increased defense, nobody's got block debuffs. So that's good in the fact that it's always going to be an equal vision. That the clan boss will look at your team and be like, I will just hit whoever looks like the tastiest snack. So you need to make sure that it's not Razelvarg. And when Razelvarg is in the lead, he will always look like the tastiest snack unless you give him Steadfast, okay? So he'll, the client must look at Steadfast and he'll be like, I don't want to hit that. So he'll then move into your position two on your roster if everything else is equal. That's just something, a little cheeky tip. So anyway, let's get into the builds. Now, I've got ally protection here. The rabbit, 
does not have ally protection falls off for the first aoe every single time so the rabbit's going to take an absolute pounding on that first one it means that i want to try and get guardian gear on some of these other champions okay so i'm going to go into the optimizer here i'm optimizing for ultra nightmare and we're just going to find our team so razzlevarg sepulcher in position two stag ronda and skull crusher uh, and then for this so it's, it's really important you get some of these settings right um so when we're looking at kind of generic settings here enemy buffs and debuffs doesn't really matter for this we're going to go into razzlevarg i'm going to try him in damage mode i'm going to give him stalwart gear ideally he's going to be tanking some damage he's the only one who doesn't have that ally protection up for one of the hits. So it's really important that he's got a way of reducing the damage on him. Uh, we're going to tell it that we want, uh, sorry, that we're going to add potential couple more speed and a few more accuracy from glyphs if we need it on sets. And in options, I'm just going to include artifacts on anyone who's locked currently on my team. Uh, in fact, we're going to include any artifact. I don't care if it breaks every build on my account to make this happen. We just want it to happen. In stats then we're going to say 229 speed and because we've got increased accuracy up i can go down to about 170 accuracy and be fine so that's cool i can actually copy those stats to all and then i'll just adjust the speed for everybody um, but i'm going to go through now the different sets we're going to pick here so for sepulchre it's going to go balance mode there's no point going damage really i just want her to stay alive do well i'd like it in guardian gear so it gives her a bit of healing, but also just protects the rabbits. Do the glyphs again. Include anyone that's around. And her speed want to be 213. Don't do a maximum here. Like if people do a maximum, this, this often fails. Literally just put the speed you want as the minimum and it should find it. If not, Adjust the minimum down a bit and you, it should find it. It's just a better way of doing this. Uh, so she's got a guardian gear. Stagnite also would like to be in guardian gear. It's quite quick though at 247. So I don't know if we're going to get that to work. Uh, but we will try. 247. Um, I don't need 100% crit rate. But I wouldn't mind a little bit of crit rate in. Defense and HP. Did I do that for Topolka? No. Defense. HP. Again, we won't tell it we want 100% crit rate. We just want a little bit of emphasis on crit rate. Stagnite, we've done. Ronda, we're going to do balanced as well. Normally, you'd pick like damage mode for a Ronda, but I don't have the gear to make that work. Saying that, she's only at 180 speed. We could try it, and then I could tweak it if it's not really working. Um, we're going to just say on your A2. Again, I'd like her in Guardian gear if I could do it. Three champions in Guardian gear might be too much for this account. But it really would make such a difference what we're doing. If we can get more Guardian gear out there. That's why farming up the, um, the Griffin is so strong on an earlier account. The Guardian gear. Yes, yes, yes. Her speed needs to be 180. I still want the accuracy in a Ronda build because she's going to be trying to land Brimstone. That's looking good. And then Skull Crusher. Ideally, I would like him to be in Lifesteal gear because he's going to be taking quite a bit of punishment. So I want him to. I know we've got Leech going out anyway, but I want him to heal up in between the damage. Another good set for him could be Stalwart because he's taking a lot of damage. Um, but we're going to try Lifesteal. 250 speed though is quick. This is a build that might fail i might need to kind of come back don't need any accuracy in his build i might need to come back and just adjust him into a different set this doesn't work i don't need accuracy okay uh, and then for him i'm just going to say give me as much hp as you can with at least 3k defense perhaps a little bit more if we can get it uh the rabbit is not going to have too much protection i could do with at least 3k defense here Okay, we're going to try that. Always put my fastest champions to the top. So Skull Crusher's up there. Stagnite's up there. Search limiter up. And start. Let's see what we get. Okay, so the two fast builds failed. So we're going to have to go back and change gear sets on those. So Stag, 
coming out of the Guardian set, which is a shame, but I thought it might happen because I just don't have quick enough Guardian gear. So we're just going to give him a choice of any gear. But now I'm going to be a bit more brutal on what I want for stats. So we're going to say, you know what? Do want 100% crit rate on the stag now. Skull Crusher, Life Steel gear. I just didn't have the speed to make that happen as well. So let's just reset that and let him have whatever. Um, and go again. Before I kind of went into any of these builds, I was looking through my gear. Like I went through my um, my stalwart gear, wherever it is. Stalwart. Went through my stalwart gear, and I was just looking for items with like good substats. I made sure that they were at least rolled to level twelve, so that the optimizer could find some good pieces. There's no point trying to do it without doing that first. Uh, I've had no build come back for. The rabbit. We've now got a build for stag and Rhonda. Nothing coming back for skull crusher. Skull crusher at 250. I wonder if we don't have a banner rolled up for skull crusher with any speed on it. No speed. Okay, so if we just take that eight, the optimizer can find it oh uh, yeah we've got no amulets at all so again we take that up to eight this is another thing i find when i do takeovers for people i find this as well if the optimizer is struggling to find you stuff have you given it stuff to look for even and often there's accessories that people don't have enough of you see my silver situation is very low here um let's just check here didn't find anything for razzle part might be because Stag Knight's now stealing it. Let's just try that again. Uh, do a live refresh so that it can find all the new things I've just done. I'm going to throw Razzlebug to the top quickly, see if that helps. Sometimes you do just kind of like need to go back and forth. So there we go. We've got a build for Razzlebug, build for Sepulchre, Stag, Ronda, and Skull Crusher. So we've got two champions that are going to be built out in. Uh, guardian gear i would like it to be three or four honestly to make this work and as i said the speeds are very particular so i also just need to make sure that the speed the optimizer is giving me is what i need so 229 is what i need here not 233 you see this so there's just a few bits where it's given me more speed than i need and i will need to adjust for that one way you can adjust you can just go back and uh, go into your stats and just kind of pull down the speed a bit knowing that we've got some glyphs to use and then that way uh, you should be able to get yourself into the right place the other way you can do it is not build as a team but build as individual champions and in that way get kind of like a list of options per champion and that might be a better way to do it when you've got speeds as specific as this okay i've done my rebuilds um I had to do a bit of tweaking around to try and find this to, to make it work, really. There's a lot going on, a lot of moving pieces here. Also, I've got some upside where I just don't have the silver to roll up some stuff. But we've got stalwart gear here on the rabbit, 229 speed. We've got the 100% crit rate. Accuracy is a bit low right now, but uh, that will boost as we level stuff up. So not in too bad a spot. And 3k defense is okay. 32k health is a bit low. I uh, would like some more health in the build. We do get, um, uh, probably that's about it really. I could do with some more health in the build somewhere. If he really dies early, I could just change these gloves for HP percent gloves. So that's an option. That's the rabbit. Uh, Sepulchre here, Guardian gear. She's at the 213 speed. Good defense, not much crit rate. Would have liked more crit in the build, but I just don't have the gear for it in Guardian. Uh, so she's kind of mainly in there to stay alive. Hopefully she's going to be my stun tank. Uh, if the heavens allow it and again there's a bit more upside to her gear if we could get some more silver in a uh, stag just in random gear in the end 248 speed is right 2.9k defense 41k health quite like this build 88 percent crit rate accuracy at 181 again i've kind of like gone through and just glyph stuff up as i've gone glyphage makes quite a big difference to your builds make make sure that you do your glyphing when you're doing this type of re-gear uh, Ronda, Ron, Ronda's in the uh, Guardian gear as well. 
179 speed. I'm just checking my speeds on my calculator as I go. 100% crit, 120% crit damage is quite low. Okay, uh, tanky stats and okay accuracy. Again, more stuff that could be rolled up as we go. Uh, and then we've got Skull Crusher. Is it the only one I haven't shown you? Skull Crusher, yeah. So three sets speed gear in the end. 250 speed, 43k health. This is not bad. Could do with more if, in, if anything, really, for your ally protector. 3k defense. Again, might die quite early. Don't know. I do have plenty of stuff still to roll up. I just ran out of silver at this point. I'll show you everyone's masteries as well. So masteries here. Make sure you've got steadfast on the rabbit. Giant Slayer for his main mastery. Ronda Giant Slayer as well. Defensive tree if you can do it. Stag. Uh, War Master is the main one here. Uh, I do apply. I don't know if I need this really on this build anymore. But we already had it. Master Hexer and Sniper. To Polka. Same thing as, as um, Stag there. Again could go Defensive Tree for a bit more damage. But want to land her decreased attack as often as we can. And skull crusher offensive and defensive tree okay so we've set up the two clan boss builds the only difference between ultra nightmare and nightmare here is that on ultra nightmare we prioritize the a3 on razalvard and uh, then the a2 everyone else is just kind of left to go with their kind of general settings no a3 for ronda a nightmare clan boss you open with the a2 then the a3 so it just kind of switches around also, you need a one turn delay on Skull Crusher. So, we're going to flip straight into Ultra Nightmare here. First time we've done it. Comment below how much damage do you think we're going to do. If we're thinking about a worthwhile effort, we've got to get 70 million divided by four, four key Ultra Nightmare. Ideally, 70 million divided by three. So, you're talking about a 23, 24 million damage key if you want to three key it but four keys the minimum that's what that will be at least we can kill ultra nightmare every day so let's see how it goes we're going to watch it through to turn seven because that's when there's chance for it to fail if the stun lands on skull crusher or the rabbit before turn seven then we're in trouble i think the stun should go on stag knight based on what i'm seeing here in terms of where the, the buffs and debuffs are the second stun is a bit of a worry. Depends if Skull Crusher. If Skull Crusher has taken damage before that second stun, you see he takes quite a lot of damage here when uh, when his ally protection is out. You should find this one goes on stag. If he's taken a lot of damage before the second stun, it might be that he takes a stun. And if he does, uh, a lot of people think, oh, don't worry about it. If Skull Crusher takes a stun, it's fine. Not fine. Not fine. He shrugs it off, but he doesn't cool down his skill. And if he doesn't cool down his skill, everything will go slightly out of sync, which we can't have. So this is coming up to the pivotal moment. Do we have Leech out at the right time? Leech is out, so we can keep our healing going. That's good. Increase attack is on. So you see this, we've taken a little bit more damage. So he needs to heal that back up before this stun. But should be this hit now. A little bit lower. Hopefully this doesn't mean he's going to get stunned. Don't stun that skull crusher. Okay, so Polka took stun. That's all good. So now we're going to let turn six happen. Wait till turn seven. And then I'm going to slow it down and just count how many attacks we get. So we're going to get all of our counter attacks in first. Counter attack, counter attack, counter attack. Now we're counting. So one for Ronda. One for Sepulchre, Rabbit one, one for Stag, one for Skull Crusher. Rabbit should get a second turn. This is just Ronda extra hits. Second turn for Rabbit, second, second. It's looking good. Second, second, and then the Rabbit goes again. Third, perfect. So we're in speed tune. Whew, that's the hard bit done. Now we just need to let it roll and see what sort of damage numbers we're going to hit. So enjoy it. Comment down below how much you think we're going to do. Let's go.
So we've not had a perfect run, not and, and quite far from a perfect run as well. Our problem here is Skull Crusher. I need him in Life Steel Gear. So if he's tanking too much damage and the clan boss sees him as the snack, which he's obviously done, then clan boss is trying to stun Skull Crusher and it's throwing out my speed tune. Again, if I had someone who was cleansing on a free turn or if I had someone who was blocked debuffing consistently, then we would be good, but I don't. And so in this particular run here, we're going to do 20.6 mil. Skull Crusher made the speed tune fail. We've still done 20.7. I'm going to run the same comp again and see what the second key looks like. It's still really good. It's like the same damage that I was doing on Nightmare. I'm now able to do an Ultra Nightmare. And even with an imperfect run, we've got a four key Ultra Nightmare. It's massive, massive on a free to play account to get to this stage. And I feel like. This is a three key if I get Skull Crusher in Life Steel Gear, like comfortably. Or if I give him, if I could get him, I kind of need Life Steel Gear and 100% crit rate. I'm going to let it play through again. I'll show you the damage at the other end. Um, so I'm kind of like pleased, but I can already see where the potential downfall for the comp is. And at the moment, that's going to be difficult to fix until I can just get some better Life Steel Gear. It's worth saying, like you can see again, we've got the same problem here. Skull Crush is going low already. We're quite early on, turn 17. Unless he gets a Warmaster proc, which he didn't, he's probably going to die right now. Oh, it's nearly dead. And, and luckily, he shrugged off the. Uh, he shrugged off. This is so lucky. The um, the stun straight away. Otherwise, our speed tune would have failed at that point there again. Now he's got a chance to get some more life still hits in. If he had retaliation accessories on so the accessories that let, let him counter attack that would give him a better chance if i'd finished his masteries that would give him a better chance so there's a whole bunch of ways that we can improve this or straight up if he's in life still gear he's healing for double what he's healing right now but ultimately with him hitting so weak because his gear's not that good and with the amount of damage that he takes when this counter when this big hit comes in like that i absolutely need him to have a different healing mechanic or we need to switch to a champion that gives us block stun all the time like that block debuffs before the stun instead of sepulchre we could swap in a marked we could swap in uh, any of the champions that do a two turn block debuffs or we could bring in a cleanser and it would be fine but it's definitely a bit of a you know because now this is fine ronda's taking that that's great it's definitely a, a kind of weakness of the team but this definitely feels like, I mean, we're going to be on average enough for a four key, which is what we need. So there we go. This one came in at 21.5. I guess have a little look. Uh, Razovag 4.2, uh, Sepulchre 2.7, Ronda nearly 10 million damage. Uh, Stagnite 3.4, Skullcrusher 1.3. As I said, Skullcrusher is my weakness here. He's my strength and my weakness both together. So I need to improve the way he's interacting. Or I need to swap out Sepulchre and get somebody who's going to stop that stun. Stunning, basically. Whether it's a marked or, you know, I get a different champion in the mix. But at the moment, the stun is an issue. I do have Nephril still to come in for more damage. So, potentially, I was going to take Sepulchre out for Nephril, just adding those poisons in. I think it will up my damage enough to at least be a 3 key. But we would still need to get uh, Skull Crusher into life still gear to make that work but there you go guys buddy crusher is active and it's the very beginning for that on the free to play for me it's a four key at least i've gone from nightmare to ultra nightmare basically with a couple of changes in the team it shows how powerful they are i've been hell hades free to play see you later